Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. I want to show you just uh, kind of how my kitchen sink is vented. This is a sink that is in a peninsula, as you can see, uh, which a traditional sink obviously would be up against an outside wall, and your drain would go straight into the wall, straight into the wall, and then from there it would tee and it would go up with the vent and down with the drain. In this case, obviously, we can't do that. Uh, so what we have here is a two inch drain line coming up through the cabinet base. Now depending on where you are, codes vary a lot on how they want you to do this. Uh, one of the, there's a couple different methods. One is to oversize the drain line until it can get to where it's vented, or to uh, create a uh, venting system in your, in your island that you would bring your vent up from where it is right there, and then over and then back down again in the cabinet with clean outs in that pipe, and then it would go down below the floor and tie into a vent line. Now I'll show you what I've done with with mine, and uh, it will function perfectly, but this is just kind of showing you how it can be done, not necessarily exactly how your jurisdiction requires it be done by a plumber. So my drain line goes into the floor and underneath the floor, and I'll show you that in a minute. And then there's a vent line that goes over and up in the wall, and then over again, and then up, and eventually it ties into the vent stack. Uh, over here by the slide switch there is a clean out if I ever needed to clean out that vent line going down under the floor uh, I know exactly where that's at and I can cut that opening when I need it. Here we are down in the basement and here is what it looks like. So we've got our two inch drain line coming down through the floor and then it comes over and right there is my vent takeoff right there and it goes up and in the wall like I was just describing and then I have a clean out in the wall. So this is not very far at all for the water to travel before there is a vent introduced into the line. So there will be no problems whatsoever with this setup. The only thing that you could be concerned about is uh, if, let's say, the, the, the two inch drain line got plugged down past where that vent ties in and it got backed up full of gunk and whatever in those lines, it would also flood that vent line going over and up into the wall which is why you need to have a clean out above the top level of the flood plane so at least like six inches above the flood plane you'd have a clean out for that vent pipe wherever your vent pipe goes because if the sink plugged and backed all the way up to here it would fill that that vent line with whatever was in the drain and it could potentially block it so you just need a way to be able to clean out that vent that goes and vents your your kitchen sink. Now obviously the reason you need a vent is so that when you're when you're draining water it doesn't ending up end up pull uh, pulling traps dry and uh, causing sewer gas issues. Excuse that water purr. And again depending on where you are uh, code uh, has different specifications for uh, how this is supposed to be done by the book, uh, but I can tell you with 100% certainty that this setup will work absolutely flawlessly. So it kind of just gives you the concept of what you would do. This would also apply to like an island, an island sink drain. So you can see we've got our drain line and our vent in the same joist cavity, separated by not a lot here, just as much as we could, and it'll work fine. We have the ability to clean out this line if it ever backs up and we have the ability to clean out this line from up in the sink base. I hope this helped you understand venting for your kitchen sink or peninsula sink or island sink. And if this video helped you out, please rate it up and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. And again, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you in the next video.